that pattern is not going to change all that much. And so here across the east, we're going to continue dry, but we do have a front that's going to barrel through here by Friday, and that's going to bring us a cool temp. In fact, let's just uh, scratch that cold temperature so you can feel them a Saturday morning uh, with the wind as well. But tonight we'll get a little preview. Look at Homestead already at 59, so we're on our way to some upper 40s to lower 50s. I think Miami will stay in the mid 50s. Fort Lauderdale will be about 52 or so, but I want to show you the relative humidity. Look at this little pocket of brown here. That is low relative humidity for this time of night. 52% in Miami. I'll widen the shot, and it's raining in some parts of the eastern U.S., but in a lot of areas it isn't, and we are drier as far as the humidity than they are. So that is quite something, and that's going to set us up again, I think, for the cool temperatures that we have tonight. And then we have this coming in. We're going to continue to see the jet stream dropping down. It's that gateway that allows all this cold air to spill down to the south. That won't get here until Friday along a front that's not going to have much moisture with it. So I'm not uh, too concerned about showers and uh, thunderstorms that would produce anything uh, you know, more than just a, uh, just a little bit of rainfall here for us. As we take a look at the temperatures for uh, tomorrow morning, so plan ahead. If you wake up early enough, this is what's going to greet you. Now, it's not going to be windy. Walk slow enough, and I think you'll be all right into the car, but it is going to be chillier than we've had the last a few nights, and then 50s and 60s further down across the, uh, the Keys. This is the way it's going to go for Wednesday and Thursday. What we had today, same deal. Dry, mild afternoon. Afternoons, so we are going to be chilly in the morning, but by the afternoon will be about 80 degrees for tomorrow, and that's going to continue through Friday. The daytime temperatures will be impacted this weekend behind the front. We're also going to turn windy. We haven't seen that in a while, so the front comes through. The wind is going to be 25, 35 miles an hour. That is going to put a chill, no question about it, in the air on a Saturday morning before things begin to wind down. I'll roll through this here. Not much action until we get to Friday, and then you'll see suddenly winds beginning to take over ahead of the front. And there it is right there, pushing through. Through, and we'll have a broken line of showers uh, moving in on Friday afternoon between 12 and 3 o'clock. There goes the front, and then comes the cold air Friday night and into Saturday. That's going to be our next cold snap here to talk about temperatures into the 40s, well down across the South Florida. By tomorrow, still high of 80 degrees, close to it as we head into the afternoon. And of course, the big game on Sunday. Look at the temperatures here throughout the day in Buffalo, low 30s. They'll be mostly cloudy there, but for us, uh, but a little milder, right? But not by much. Your 60s for our standards, anyway. As far as the temperatures, uh, we'll be hard pressed to hit 70 degrees. There's the extended forecast taking you through the weekend and through that cold and uh, windy day on Saturday before we begin to moderate temperatures Sunday and into early next week. We will be right back.